Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building a community lot, which I haven't done in a little while. I'm not exactly sure how long it's been, but anyways, uh, today I am building a wedding venue and I was planning on having this be for my save file, but I'm not really sure if it fits into this world, which is Windenburg. So you guys will have to let me know. I was originally planning on making this build much darker looking with maybe like dark stone or brick or something i don't know i just think that would fit better into the world but i was really inspired by the cathedral that you can find in real life in florence and so this build is very heavily inspired by that one it's um, not like an exact replica, but the shape of it is very similar the big dome on top and the smaller domes around the big dome um, All of that is very similar too. and uh, yeah I ended up using this wallpaper that came from I believe Vampires because it looks I think the most similar to anything that we have in game um, to the cathedral that you can find in Florence um, of course, it's not as like intricately like intricately painted <laughs> and I don't think it's the same material This one I think is supposed to be like wood paneling, um, but I think it's kind of similar I don't know. Let me know if you guys think um, It fits in this world if you like it for my save file I think I'll probably add this to my save and then maybe at some point build something different i don't know if that will ever happen but i don't know let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on that but i really like the way this build turned out and as you can see the video is not very long and i didn't cut anything out it's just really short because this is the second time i built it <laughs> the first time i built it i unfortunately did not record a single part of it I didn't hit record at all. I built it all in one session and it took me quite some time to figure out like the shape of it and everything. So I'm sure the original build time would be like maybe twice as long as this or something. I'm not sure, but yeah. So uh, yeah, unfortunately I had to go through and take screenshots and rebuild it. Thankfully that wasn't too hard to do. I was actually dreading it. I think this took me about like a week in between the first time I built it and then taking the screenshots and rebuilding it. I was just dreading it so much. I just, I hate doing that. I really much prefer just build, building something once and never needing to rebuild it. For some reason, rebuilding is it's just not as fun and trying to make something exactly how it was before is just kind of, there's a lot of pressure <laughs> to make it look identical. And I'm always worried that it's not going to be as good as the original one or I'll miss something. I mean, of course, it's really easy just to take a bunch of screenshots and look at them, but it's kind of a slow process between like adding a wall, looking at the picture, making sure it's the same, you know, tile length or tile width and where, you know, are the decorations exactly in the same spot? Like I literally built this entire thing. I decorated it, everything, saved it, exited out of my game and n the record was not on. <laughs> I was so mad. Um, but yeah, the build in, or the, not the build, but the building in real life you can find in Florence, Italy. And I believe it's just a museum. Mm, maybe not. Maybe people actually go here for a service. You guys will have to let me know. Um, but this time I turned it into a wedding venue because I thought that would be the most functional thing for this lot. Even though I'm not really sure how functional weddings are in the game. I believe there was a patch recently, like the third patch <laughs> that has came out for that pack. Because unfortunately there was like lots of glitches with gameplay and stuff with the um, my wedding stories pack and like weddings in general. But weddings are a base game like wedding t or lot type now so I don't really know how that works with my wedding stores I don't know I never actually play the game so if you guys know any details around that please leave them in the description box or the comments oh my goodness I'm losing it <laughs> but um yeah just please leave them if you guys have any information because I'm very curious how it all works and if the latest patch actually fixed anything um hopefully it did um but yeah here you can see I'm actually decorating the wedding area and I think it looks super cute I tried to keep it um mostly white I tried to make it look just clean and kind of classy and classic and just lots of greenery and flowers and seating and I just think it looks so so cute. There's a couple of rooms here off to the left and right that I had no idea what to do with so they're just like quiet sitting rooms. Maybe there's something to do with like the actual church itself. Maybe you can go in and talk to somebody or have like a quiet time. I'm not really sure what you would do in there exactly but 
I don't know I just put a few decorations and there's nothing very exciting and then there's a couple of bathrooms and the tall tower doesn't have any decorations except for a bell at the very top which I thought was pretty cool um, I wish it actually chimed I think that would be pretty neat but yeah I'm just adding a bunch of decorations around nothing too exciting but like I said I tried to make it feel classy and clean and kind of classic so hopefully it looks that way but um yeah I did want to thank you guys for the response on my new channel if you guys haven't heard or didn't see my last two videos I created a CC building channel and on that channel I'm going to just be playing music and not doing voiceovers a lot of you guys have been commenting well not a lot but some people have been saying that you miss my voice <laughs> um I don't have time to add more voiceovers that's definitely one of the most time consuming well not really time consuming it's more hard to find time like a quiet time to do voiceovers <laughs> um because i do have a one-year-old son so um he does take up quite a bit of time and he's quite noisy <laughs> and so um yeah the the uh, cc channel is just going to be with music and exploring um mostly just interior decorating i really like interior decorating which is something i really didn't like before i started building in the sims but it's something that has definitely came out of me building like when i first started building i was much more into exteriors and not really interiors but now I'm much more into interiors and there's so many beautiful pieces with cc that you can go I don't know, you can do just really beautiful interior. So I'm very excited just to explore that and um, share them with you guys. I'll have them on the gallery so you guys can download them if you would like to. Of course, if you're downloading things with CC, um, you can't just see them automatically. So you do have to filter to show in like, custom content. So um, it's like just an extra step, but it's not too much more. And yeah, I will have all of the CC that I'm using in the description box, uh, like the name of the creator, where you can download their stuff, and then I'll have a list of like the sets and packs that I use because most things that I download, I download as like a merged file. So yeah, but if it's just like a single item, then I'll have it in the description too. But um, it should be pretty easy for you guys to find which CC I use. And if you want to find like a very like specific item, like if I use a certain decor piece or something, you can always message me on Tumblr or ask me on Twitter or something and I can help you find it really easily. But anyways, yeah, I will have a link in the end card so you guys can find that channel if you are interested. But I am coming to the end of this one. I'm just adding a few pieces of landscaping and the final few details and then we're on to the screenshot. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one and hopefully you guys do enjoy the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.